over at my uh, friend's house that has a uh, solar power uh, house and farm. And uh, I want to show you his setup here. This is how many watts here? This, uh, 3,000. This is a 3,000 watt inverter. And basically it's this one. And you got your breakers and your power from the power company and your power from the inverter and you got batteries right yep in where are they yeah. up upstairs yeah, right. the other side. oh okay they're on the other side here oh okay yeah. so they're right here so you got four yep four lead acid yeah and what's what's the power of these 150 amp hours. 150 amp hours each one? Yep. Okay, so he's got 600 amp hours of battery. And then what voltage do you have these rigged at? Uh, this is 24. It's, so it's a 24. Uh, 300 amp hours, 24 volts. Okay, yeah, 300 amp hour, 24 volts. And now we're going to go up on the roof and you'll see how he's got the uh, solar panels set up. So we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. All right, right we're up on the roof now. And this is how many watts of panels do you have? It's 1,860. 1,860 watts. And as you can see, he's got it, that end's higher than this end. But also the other thing that's really cool is uh, this swivels. So he manually swivels these. He's got a little turn buckle set up here where you grab this thing and you t t turn it and it spins this and raises and lowers this so uh, in the morning early in the morning it starts out uh, facing that away because that's east there so he uh, screws this back down the panels tilt that way and then he gets early morning power yeah what time do you start to, you know to get power yeah six uh, o'clock huh? he'll start to getting power from these uh, once he rotates them uh, down and then until 6 p.m. at night roughly yeah roughly yeah and so this is the evening setting here right yeah do you know what the angle is here that, that it's you're about 45 degrees yeah so roughly 45 degrees uh, is his evening set up uh, afternoon evening and then what time of the day do you make it flat uh, during noon Oh, okay, right at noon, not at like 10 or e yeah, 11? 11 or 10 doesn't really matter much. And then you start, yeah, because this stops putting out as much power at what time? Because the sun starts going up. Yeah, but I don't have enough uh, load. That's why it doesn't, doesn't require matter. too much uh, power. Oh, oh okay, well he doesn't have much load. He's got yeah. some fans, refrigerator lights yeah, and stuff like that. Fan and refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, so. But if I use aircon, maybe I have to track the sun. Yeah, then you're going to have to move it more. So, yeah, for his needs right now, it's not important as exactly what time he levels this off, you know, for the noonday. But for me, I would have it like this in the morning. Well, actually, at, uh, at after sun goes down, I would flip it from over there to here. So that at 6 a.m., it would start, get, you know, get power. And then 10, 11 a.m., I would make it flat. And then at 2 or 3 p.m. I would angle it back. Well, I'm going the wrong way, but that would be morning. That would be midday, and this would be evening, afternoon, evening. So, uh, and the way he's got it set up, like I said, he's got the turn buckle here. I guess you can see that. I think you can see it clearly. Right there, this is a thread. Uh, it's got threads, and this is his little hand thing to make it easy to turn. But he's got this, you can see right there, uh, it turns and rotates. Same set up here, he's got this uh, welded with a sleeve on it, and then the shaft goes through there. And then down here at the far end, the exact same thing. And um, yeah, do you know how much this weighs, this whole array weighs? Nine, about 19 uh, kilograms each. 19. Six. So we'll say 20 times 6. That'd be 120. Kilos. 
kilos, so 250 pounds roughly, plus plus this frame, right? Yeah, plus the frame. Plus the frame is probably another 40, 50 pounds. Yeah. So about 300. Maybe 300 pounds. About 300 pounds, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's so. But the simplicity is that uh, it's it's only mounted. Uh, the adjustment bracket is only down there and you just rotate it with your hand just keep that oiled or lubed and piece of cake uh, his wife actually does this she comes out here and uh, makes an adjustment uh, because he's busy working on the farm so she comes and tweaks this during the day to get the all the right power you can see and uh, these are mono crystalline yep. yeah what's the brand of these Phono? Yeah, yeah. It's there. Uh, oh, okay. Here's the. Uh, let's see if I can get get the. Uh, I don't know. I can't see with my camera. It's kind of reflecting. Uh, hopefully, you can see. Well, it's upside down. So, sorry. Uh, maybe I can take a picture of that later. Okay. So we from the front, it's basically like that. And the angle here is what, going down? Like I said, this end's higher. So if you had it flat, you would see that more, but the angle. Yeah, an angle. About uh, maybe eight degrees. Ab about eight de degrees uh, slope yeah, to slope. it there towards the uh, south. Yeah, so, and we're near the equator, so that's why it's not that much if you're in... North America or you know Europe or someplace you'd have a lot more angle on yours uh, towards the uh, I guess the south if you're in the northern hemisphere so anyway just wanted you guys to see how they're doing solar in the Philippines and we'll be back with more I'll get back and you can see this whole thing here and we'll be back with more rotating solar panels on from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye hey for now. Everybody. We're here at the uh, organic farm in Bentayan Island, and this is a solar powered farm, and this is the pressure pump. He's got that a little captive air tank, and this is the pump, and this, of course, is the whale. Now, he's got all this plumbing and stuff going to his storage tanks, and these lines go out to the plants and all the farm. So, he's got this set up on solar power. And he put these things up. Now, if you can hear the motor running, and I'm going to go inside, and he's going to tilt that because this rotates. He's going to tilt that towards, towards, towards the sun, and hopefully you can hear how much more power he gets. Hear it? And that is because he mounted his solar panels on a flexible on a rotating poles here this is really cool and he does this with with all of his panels he uh, has it on this uh, this bar this pipe right there and then this is kind of like the bearing roughly bearing thing there and, and there and then he just grabs it by hand and rotates it and because the Sun is over there as you can see uh, it uh, is now speeding up and pumping like crazy so during the day he'll move this in the morning because normally wherever it's at there's probably four or so hours that it's not going to be optimal or maybe six hours I don't know quite a few hours of the day it's not going to be optimal so in the morning he turns it east and at noon he turns it flat and then three or four o'clock he turns it uh, back this way and then his pump continuously runs uh, all day long and he fills up he's got a storage tank this is a hill right here and he's got a big concrete storage tank up, up there that's where this it's like a two inch pipe runs to is his storage tank in fact you can see it right there big cement see the cement right there this is the corner this is the, the corner is a giant storage tank and that also supplies pressure for his drip system so anyway that is smart solar in the Philippines and we will be back with more 
Let me get over here where you can get a front view of those solar panels. There they are. We'll be back with more from my paradise on Bintanyan Island. Solar farming in the Philippines. Bye for now.